Thank you, Mr. President. It's good to be back in the chamber, uh, something I, I don't take lightly or, or take for granted. Uh, as all of us, we've been very busy back in our districts, working with our constituents, helping them cope with the devastation uh, of this virus. But there is also important legislative work for us to do, and today we take a step forward in, in helping with the healing. One of the things that we have realized during the course of this pandemic is the impact on the vulnerable, particularly in the behavioral health side, people with substance use disorder. A few weeks ago, I convened a statewide meeting of treatment providers and the associations that represent them to find out some of the challenges that they were facing. And a big part of the challenges they were facing, access to PPE, access to hardware for telemedicine, getting regulations changed, was that they didn't have a seat at the emergency management table. And that was unfortunate and unnecessary. And today we're making a change that will give OASIS a seat at New York State's emergency management table so that when the discussions are had on how to get through future crises, not just an illness, but a storm, um, they will have a seat at the table because one thing we see uh, is, is that when unemployment uh, dips 1%, overdoses shoot up 5%. That's the figure that is used. The Kaiser Family Foundation had a study about three weeks ago predicting another 75,000 deaths of despair from self-medication, from alcoholism, from overdose. And so we need a seat at the table for OASIS so that these issues are addressed in comprehensive planning for those who are suffering from substance use disorder. I vote aye. Thank you, Mr. President.